When discussing Italian rapier, one of the terms most often used is tempo, the Italian word for time. The definition most given is the measure of stillness and motion. This is such a simple definition and a, really a simple concept, yet the actual application of this seems to elude far too many fighters. In his fifth chapter, Capofero discusses tempo. He talks about the various things a fighter can do, coming on guard and seeking measure with his opponent, but no matter how quick he moves or the shortness of the pauses in between his movements, none of this is considered a tempo until you enter measure. So what does this mean? If we are 10 feet apart, whether I dash at you or I move an inch an hour, there is no thing called tempo until I am in measure. To continue with the definitions, steso tempo, or single time, is just a single continuous motion or attack. Very straightforward. In contrast, dui tempi is the taking of two distinct motions to complete an action. This is how you describe the modern peri post. Just to make sure everyone is properly confused, while tempo is defined in a generic sense, most of the Italian masters actually use tempo as a sort of unit of time, typically the time to do a full cut. If you can have a full tempo, then you can also have a half tempo or mezzo tempo, which would be the time for a half movement or a quick movement. Thus, at misura stretta or narrow measure, a mezzo tempo move would be a quick strike to the body because it is done simply with an arm movement. While at misura larga or long measure, a mezzo tempo strike would be a strike to your opponent's hand or arm because that is the fast movement. Trying to reach the body is going to take a full tempo. One of the last phrases we will define is action in tempo. Very simply, this is an attack made while your adversary is occupied in motion or taking a tempo of their own. This is a good thing and this is what you want to strive for. If you can have an action in tempo, of course you can also then have an action out of tempo. This is an attack made while your opponent is still. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see fighters making and they don't understand why this is so bad. We will go into this in greater detail right away. Just as with measure, tempo is a very fundamental concept in learning to fight not only Italian rapier, but actually any kind of fighting. Again, we've gone over some of the textbook definitions of tempo. But really, to break it down, a tempo is the length of time of a committed action. In working with my students and my peers within the rapier community, I've tried to come up with a more practical way of explaining tempo. Because saying the time of an action or an inaction doesn't mean a lot when you're actually thinking about what happens in a fight. Really, a tempo is the length of time of a committed action on my part. That is my tempo for that action. Because I'm committed to this action, I am giving my opponent a gift, a window of opportunity to do something to me. While I'm committed to this action, while I'm in this tempo, my opponent has a window of opportunity to maneuver, to strike me, or to defend themselves. So I want to be stingy. I want to make sure that every gift of a tempo that I give my opponent, every window of opportunity that I present them, is done in such a way that they cannot take advantage of it to strike me back. When I take a tempo that is in measure, I want to make sure that I have controlled their blade such that it cannot strike me. So they are forced to take a tempo to find an open line, to do some maneuver, and not hit me directly. And that way I can stay one step ahead of them and try and, my tempo might be to try and strike them. Their tempo is forced to be parry or void or some in another way move to find an open line. And then my parry can, my tempo can be to redouble and try and strike them again. And their tempo again is consumed with having to parry or void or in some ways not be struck. Now, tempo only has meaning when you are near or in measure. If I am well out of measure, there is no tempo. It doesn't matter what you do because there is no risk of being struck. Your commitment or not commitment to a move does not matter. 
there's a term called striking out of tempo. Well, if you're in measure, how can you strike out of tempo? Striking out of tempo means I have not done anything to force my opponent to commit themselves to a tempo. Striking out of tempo means I'm hitting my opponent without doing anything for my opponent's ability to strike me. Striking out of tempo is where you get a lot of double strikes where you hit each other because I am attacking you but I'm not doing anything about your ability to attack me. At the very core, and this is something that I feel Giganti carries across very well, as I come into measure, I want to constrain your blade. I want to control your ability to strike me directly. From there, if I, with your blade, with your line closed down and your blade constrained, if I strike you and you do nothing, I have hit you and I have succeeded. If I control your blade properly, your parry will not work, and I strike you and you try and do a bad parry, and again, it succeeds and I work. If I go to strike you, you realize that you're in a bad situation, you are forced to take a tempo to retreat, to do a cavazione, to a clean line, to sidestep, to somehow void, and while you're busy doing that, I have the chance to strike you, or I have the chance to reset, to find an open line again. And that is how I stay ahead of my opponent, to say, I'm gonna strike you, and the only tempo you have available to you that is effective is the tempo of providing, performing a parry, performing a void, or some other kind of movement to keep from being struck. Let me again summarize this in a practical way. Your tempo is not about the time that you take to do something. Your tempo is the window of opportunity that you give your opponent. When you are committed to an action, they have a chance to do something to strike you. So you must always be careful that your tempo involves keeping their primary line of attack on you closed so that they cannot strike you directly while you try to strike them. Thus, their tempo must always be involved in finding a new open line, in voiding your attack, in trying to retreat back out of measure, and never give them a tempo while you are not striking them to strike you instead.